Ctp version 2 in configuration division number is 0 now we will maximum locally support by 255 and by default existing domain is 5 and operating mode is server domain name is null and domain mode is disabled to see the VLAN information show in the command by default is VLAN 1 that is by default and all the ports are number of the VLAN 1 in 1002 to 1005 VLANs are basically used for the tokening and these uh, VLAN is basically by default unsupported by system now we configure uh, this switch as a server this is as a client uh, this is transparent and this is further client have a look so first of all the command is ptp version there are two versions basically and there is recently version 3 also uh, version 2 so, ptp domain domain name yes by default is not so i give a uh, domain name is system and vtp mode there are three mode of vtp that is client server and transmit by default is server vt server okay now we create two vlan vlan 10 vlan it vlan 20 and we show vlan i can get two vlan also 10 and 20 show vtp status so it's configured user number is 4 and 
number of this new line is 5 plus 2 is 7 this domain name is system and we can assign the password also for the VTP VTP password Show VTP status. There is no reflection there. I can see that VTP was empty. VTP domain name system. VTP password system. VTP mod client. Show VTP status. Cisco and its client. If it is client, can you configure here? No. Because it is client. Not allowed time device is not client. So I want to reflect uh, the real information to this. Please remove command show interface. It's not planting. It's four. It's FA zero plus five, and this is four. So we must create trunk on this four. With the help of trunking multiple VM, please forward to the next switch. You can click interface FA zero plus five. Switch to a lot of more like it dynamic in trunk. So we create trunk. So interface trunk. Now my mode is fronting it down. By default encapsulation will be 2.1 queue. Status fronting, native VLAN is one. And it allowed VLAN 1 to 1005 and forward 1, 10 and 20 VLAN to the next switch. Have a look, show interface, interface, zero of the five, six, this command. By default, it's dynamic desirable, so set code is enabled, it's run, and encapsulation is dot one q front one is on, and by default, native VLAN is VLAN run. And this is dynamic. So, show interface trunk. My mode is auto. N stands for negotiation. It negotiates the DJ 2.1 queue. Front end is on. Show VTP status. No, fine. I got same VLAN. Show VLAN. 10 and 20 reflected. It is client. Now this board is auto and we have to create this mode now transmit. Domain must match and password must match. So I have two more, two interface. Uh, zero public four is basically hard coded on trunk, so its trunking mode is on, and a zero public five is automatic that sets negotiate. And it forward these the information to the next one. But yeah, this is listening. listening. Oh, it's transparent, but its revision ID is zero. Its revision ID always zero if it is on, on it work on the transparent mode. And so here, now there is no ten and twenty. Fine, it's still transparent, so I can create some data. Yes, hundred and 
200 is effective so let's see status but still it will be some ideas have a look uh, like on find so we then there is no 100 and 200 You see, I'm uh, trying to. So, uh, oh, I see the end one there. So, what is the status? Client, see? So, it will transfer it and forward the VLAN information to this client. Server forward to the client and client forward to the transfer, but transfer it. Uh, you know, it's that uh, the VLAN information of the other node, it can create its own VLAN uh, for its own and it can forward to the VTB uh, advertisement packet to the next one if it is needed to. So, client can get uh, the VLAN uh, from the servers and but transparent information is never affected on uh, the networks. So, that's all about the VTB, different kind of mode it works.